everybody. Happy Friday. It's time for Friday favorites and flops already. I hope that you all had a really great week. Stella and I had a good week together. Um, I didn't have to prep for work this weekend because I actually have kind of a weekend off. Um, so that's really nice. I'm looking forward to just relaxing and um, Craig and I have a couple projects planned for the backyard and um, moving some things around, which is going to give me more room in the garage for my setup in there, which is going to be really nice. So very much looking forward to that. Um, my business is definitely growing and it's sort of like exploding everywhere <laughs> in our house. So it's a good problem to have, but at the same time, um, it's kind of overwhelming. So um, I need to get better about my organization and, um, you know, getting more shelving and things like that. So that's kind of what I'm working on right now. Um, I hope that you all had a fantastic week and that you are getting summer weather where you're at. <laughs> it's definitely hit us here in Oregon. It has been really warm this week and I'm hating it. I'm one of those rare people that hates summer. Like, I love rainy, crappy weather, and this time of year just always is kind of tough for me because I'm like, too much sun. <laughs> it's too much. I hate being hot. Um, most people complain about wintertime. I'm one of those weirdos that complains about summertime, so I'll try to refrain from doing it too much in my videos, but this is the one time where I will say, Bleh. I'm hating 90 degree days. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to jump into my favorites, and I do have a flop this week, and it's a pretty major one. Guys, will have to excuse my hair. I'm trying to, like, air dry it as much as possible because I'm getting ready to do the transition to gray next month. It's still a little over a month off at this point, but I'm trying to treat my hair really, really gently, and um, which is all fine and well, except that most days it doesn't really look very good, <laughs> but we're just going to go with it. Okay, candle favorite of the week, and this is probably going to come as a huge surprise to most of you. I did do an in-depth review of this particular one. I will list that down below for you under the videos you may have missed. This is the Yankee Candle Strawberry Buttercream. Um, I bet y'all are kind of surprised to see a Yankee Candle <laughs> in the favorites. Um, I purchased this during the semi-annual sale haul, and I got this one at my outlet. It does have one of the yellow outlet labels on it, and this is actually a really decent performer. Um, check out my in-depth review. I go into, like, the throw and, you know, all of that kind of stuff in there, but suffice it to say for a Yankee Candle, this has been really, really good, and I really enjoy the scent. It's a great summertime scent, and... Um, Fair warning, it seems to be a little bit hit and miss with other candle people that I've talked to about this candle, so um, just kind of keep that in mind. Keep your receipt in case you need to return it if yours isn't a good performer, but um, I've been enjoying this one, and based on the performance on this, I'm actually tempted to get another one. Sorry. Overly Dramatic Stella will probably make an appearance in this video. Let's talk about my fragrance pick for the week. I don't have the top for it, but this is um, Viva La Juicy. Oh, man. I the, the one thing I do like about summer is busting out this perfume. Oh, man. What do you have on your face? What's going on? Is that your jam? Yes. From your toast and jam? <laughs> yes. Yes. You got, you got it all over your dress, too. We're going to have to change your dress before we go to Ikea. And we have to change my diaper. Well, you don't want to wear underwear? You don't want to be a big girl? I, I have something on my other lip. You have something on your other lip? You mean <coughs> the corner of your lip? Cover your mouth. <coughs> Cover your mouth. Okay, I think you look good. Do you think that you can go in your room and hang out for a little while while Mama finishes this video? Okay. That would be very nice of you. I'll be quiet. Okay, you'll be quiet. She's going to be quiet, you guys. <laughs> anyway, Viva La Juicy is the one thing that I do enjoy about summer. This is a very, um, it's a very strong, very kind of sweet, florally, girly summer scent. Stella, you can't walk around because it shakes the camera, honey, so you have to sit down. No, there's pee, pee coming out of my butt. <laughs> pee pee doesn't come out of your butt. Do you want to go on the potty? No, I am a happy thing. You are. Do you do you want to go pee pee or not? I like it. I don't want to. Okay. I gotta go to the arcade. Hurry. <laughs> Just gotta go to the arcade. 
we're really trying hard with potty training, here's but cat. Here's, my cat. here's your cat. Okay, I'm going to try to get through this. Sorry, guys. Um, this is just really, really nice. If you've never smelled Viva La Juicy and you really like girly, like florally, summertime type scents, next time you're at Sephora, definitely check this guy out. It's a really cute bottle. Um, this has lasted me so many years. I think I've had this for like three years now, and you need so little. It's so strong. And this one came like extra full. Like it was like full to like the brim. It was crazy. So um, beautiful, beautiful fragrance and um, very heavy, beautiful bottle. Okay, I actually have a brush favorite to share with you. I have been using this Flower E01. This is actually an eye brush. Um, I've been using this to do the contouring on my nose, and it's perfect. It just fits in there so perfectly. Um, I contour my cheekbones as well as the sides of my nose. I don't have an overly large nose, but I do like to slim it down just a little bit. And my face is obviously really round, so cheekbones are kind of an important thing for me to to focus on <laughs> but this is great because it's really it's nicely pinched so it gives me like the perfect like nose contour it really does and it's nice and soft and then what I can do is just use the side of it to like get the highlighter on and then just put the highlighter on that way um, so it's beautiful and it also applies it like to the tops of my um, lips to add a little bit oh my god did my okay. kitty cat jump? Yeah, your kitty cat jumped. Um, I'm going to be right back. And we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, that's my life being a mom to Stella. She's, she's such a good little girl, but she really, like, she tends to, like, take over everything. <laughs> so, anyway, she, I put her down with a coloring book, so hopefully that keeps her busy for just a little bit here. Okay. Um, I was talking about this brush. Um, you can find this at Walmart. Again, it's the E01 brush. Um, there you go. And again, it's from Flower Cosmetics. So this is a really great brush, and I think it's pretty inexpensive for a drugstore brush, so check that out. Um, I've been wearing this lip gloss a lot, and I'm wearing it right now, and I really like this. This is for my Canadian peeps out there. This is the Quo Lip Gloss in Salmon. I love this color. My friend Stephanie sent this to me. I think it was last year, actually. It's like the prettiest, like, corally salmon color. Um, it's not super opaque. It's just the perfect amount of coverage. It's not sticky. I really love Quo and Marcel lip glosses from the Canadian drugstore. Just really, really nice. So if you can find this salmon color, I don't know if it was limited edition. I'm obviously not up to date on Canadian drugstore stuff, but... Um, this is really, really nice, and I love it. There are two blushes that I've been wearing most of the week. The first one is the Big Easy by Cargo, and this was this is just a smaller size. I have this in a larger size as well, but this came with one of my Cargo kits that I got. Um, so the Big Easy is basically just a really light pink flush of color. I mean, it's, it's really light. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. Um... It's perfect for those days where you're like, I, I don't really want to wear much blush, but I want to wear something so that my skin looks a little bit more polished, especially since I do contour. I feel like I need the blush to sort of balance that out a little bit. So I've been loving the Big Easy from Cargo. And then the Luminous Flush and the Incandescent Electra from the Ambient um, Blush Palette. Oh, this, these two colors are so beautiful. Um, I believe Incandescent Electra is going to be available on its own. Those are the rumors that I've heard. I don't know if it's out already, but it's a beautiful coral. And um, this one is just a really nice bright pink. They come off so beautifully on my skin. I do have enlarged pores, so I tend to gravitate more towards matte blushes. But the pearl finish to these is so beautiful it's extremely wearable and it never settles into my pores it doesn't accentuate them in any kind of way i would say hourglass makes my favorite high-end blushes like i really really enjoy um these blushes from them and i hope that they come out with another palette for the holidays with some different colors um packaging is beautiful too it's like a mirrored rose gold I, yeah, if Hourglass comes out with another blush palette, like, I will be there in a heartbeat to buy it. I love, love, love these blushes. 
highlighter that I wanted to share with you guys is the It Cosmetics um, Hello Light Illuminating Powder. My friend Lisa actually sent this to me, so thank you, Lisa. This is beautiful. I've always looked at this, but never picked it up. Um, oh, this is just a gorgeous champagne. Like, it's a true champagne. I've been wearing this down the bridge of my nose on my Cupid's bow. It's so pretty, you guys. Uh, it's not quite as creamy as the Becker, Becker, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors, but... It's, it's a little bit more powdery, but it still has that same kind of like beautiful glowy payoff that just sits perfectly on my skin. Like this just wears so well, like throughout the entire day. So um, I've been loving this and so glad to finally have it in my collection. I just, I've really been falling in love with It Cosmetics. They make a lot of really beautiful products. So I'm very much looking forward to trying more, um, more of the it cosmetics products because i think they're absolutely lovely so this one was a huge hit the eyeshadow palette in case you're wondering what i've been wearing on my eyes in any videos that you've seen this week um it's the anastasia beverly hills tamana palette so i know that this is probably not readily available anymore if at all but if you have it in your collection and you haven't reached for it for a while this is a beautiful summer palette i really like this one for summer not only because of this gorgeous pop of color here but because it's just, it's so neutral, it's just perfect for every day. I've been mixing the chocolate and the Bengal, which are these two guys right here, and putting that in my crease. And then on my lid, I've been either doing blush or uh, China Rose, this color here. I've also done this one on my lid this week, but these two have kind of been my favorites. Um, this sangria color here, oh, I can't wait for fall to come around because I'm excited to use this one again. It's just a beautiful, like, cranberry color. It's stunning. This whole palette is just such a winner to me, and I'm so glad that I picked it up. Um, I really did not think there was going to be much to it because it, I think I paid, like, $28 for it. I got it at Sephora during the November VIB sale. I was not expecting much, and I was actually expecting to return it. I love this. I'm so glad that I picked it up. If you have it in your collection and you just haven't reached for it for a while, give this guy a go again. Okay, last thing I'm going to share. I did my deep patch um, in-depth review yesterday, just technically today, <laughs> but um, I love this. I did this last night. I put on the full face mask again last night, and I'll just show it to you now, but go check out my in-depth review of it. Um, but this is what the mask looks like. I'm sure you've probably seen me wearing it on Instagram before. I love this product. In the video, uh, in the description box, there is a coupon code. So if you're interested at all, definitely go watch that video. Watch my review. Um, there's links to the website and everything. And um, just so you know, like the coupon code that's in there, it's not a commission-based thing. So if you use that, like I don't get anything from that. It's just for you guys to be able to save 20% off um, the product. So it's really i'm telling you it's really worth checking out um i woke up this morning and just looked in the mirror sorry this hair is driving me nuts looked in the mirror and um my skin just looks so bright and luminous and beautiful like in the mornings after using that and um so the uh vitamin c serum that you use with that um actually comes with the kit and it's the liquid gold infusing serum this is a 20 percent vitamin C serum and the mask basically has a microcurrent running through it. There's a little battery pack in there and it drives the vitamin C serum 300% deeper into your skin. So it gets into the much lower layers than just like a regular vitamin C serum that you apply like without anything um, can, you know, can get into your skin. That didn't come out as smoothly as I wanted it to. <laughs> this helps this helps the vitamin C serum to penetrate much deeper into your skin than if you were to just use this on its own. How's that? <laughs> a little bit better. Love this product. Um, I'm kind of hooked. Not kind of. I am hooked. I love it. I'll put the link for the review down below. Again, there's they, they sent this to me so to, to review for you guys, but I love it. And um, I'm not going to be without that thing now. Because when I wake up in the morning after using that, I'm like, oh, yes. So much younger. Okay, let's talk about my hair. Um, I actually used my flop so that I could tell you guys exactly why it's a flop. Okay, 
This is the Batiste Dry Shampoo in light blonde, um, light and blonde, a hint of color. I've used this in the past and I remember work, it working much better for me, but my hair may not have been quite as gray as it is now. Um, this does not work for me anymore. So I was hoping this would be sort of a dupe or a replacement for the Bumble and Bumble Blondish Hair Powder. So I am almost out of this. I probably have one or two more uses of this. I'm just going to need to like suck it up and go buy this um, because this just sucks. So I have this in my roots right now. I don't know if it'll come off quite as badly on camera, but in person, this looks bad. Um, when it comes out, it's like an orange, it's yellow, like an orangey yellow. Can you see that there? I don't know whose blonde hair actually looks this color, but not mine. Um, it, it's just, it's not good. It doesn't blend with the rest of my hair. So what I'm finding myself doing is having to spray this like all over to get like the same like weird orangey yellowy tone all over. <laughs> I don't know why I'm forcing myself to use this. It's probably because I would feel dumb returning it. I actually bought a second one and what I'm going to do is I haven't touched that one so I'll return the one that I haven't used but I feel kind of bad returning like a used one. So um, but this is just not good. I would say if you are someone who has um Maybe a much brighter, like, yellowy blonde. This might work a little bit better for you to kind of help co conceal your roots. It just does not do that on me. Um, I also don't like that this makes my hair flatter. Like, this gives me, like, body and oomph in my hair. And, you know, I can, like, zhuzh it up. But this, like, this just does not... It's weird. It makes my hair feel oddly slick. Like, this maybe has, like... A lot of cornstarch or something in it. Does it have cornstarch? It has rice. I don't know. It's just not working with my hair. It sucks though because it is um, it is cruelty free so it's actually a vegan product so I was kind of excited about that but it's just not working for me. So I'm gonna head to Sephora and buy um, another one of the Bumble and Bumble Blondish and I just need it to get me to July 19th, which is when my hair appointment is, to um, turn my hair gray. So, um, but yeah, I mean, my roots, my roots are strong, you guys. <laughs> I have refrained from touching them up, but um, it's really kind of starting to kill me because I have to use this every single day or it, it does not look good. So anyway, this is still a huge hit for me, but this guy, not so much, so bummer, but... I mean, what are you going to do? You win some, you lose some. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you guys have a fantastic weekend. Stella and I are off to Ikea now, so fingers crossed that that goes smoothly. <laughs> I have to go buy some vases for a wedding for next weekend, so um, this needs to go well because i got to get this stuff done. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down below, and um, I'm going to I've got to do something with this. I think I'm just going to pin it back. What do you guys think? Pin it back? No? <laughs> anyway, have a great weekend. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.